Lighter is just around the corner. And I say this like every single one. I say it every single time. This new character is just around the corner. No, but seriously, Lighter is just about here in ZZZ. And I'm very excited for him because it's another new stun unit. And I'm really digging stun units. I, I definitely want more teams to build, especially now that I have Bernice. I really like to build a fire team. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Today, we're going to be talking about if you should summon for Lighter in ZZZ. And even though I'm excited for him, there's a couple things to really consider. So if you like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next ZZZ video comes out. And of course, check out Gamer Subs. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Y'all, I'm just saying, we got the Hollow Life collab that just got released and it's fantastic. We got Mori, we got Crony, we got Narissa. I'm just saying, there's so many good things with this. So, but not any further delay, let's go ahead and first talk about Ben. Now, Ben is a defense unit, and basically what he does is he's got a counter function in his skill that'll basically, you'll take a hit, so long as you do the counter, and then you're able to counteract with explosive damage, right? Um, now, Ben is pretty bad. <laughs> ben is the worst of the support characters. Uh, Shield-wise, he's the worst character as well. Uh, we did get Seth, which Seth is considered uh, up there in top tier. And I do agree. I think that he is considered as the best four-star. But then again, there's not a lot... Or not four-star, A-rank. But there's not a lot of A-rank characters in the first place. If you look at this, there's a lot more yellow than there is purple. And that's fine. That's understandable. But I will say, outside of just getting Caesar here... There hasn't been really any good additions to the shield pool outside of Seth, right? There's only Ben. Now, if you don't have Seth, Ben is good. But if you have Seth, you shouldn't be using Ben in the slightest. So, in my opinion, this gives a thumbs... Or this gets a thumbs down for the banner. Like, it's just bad. Like, tab Ben. Followed by this, we have Corrin. Now, Corrin is a physical attack specialty unit or dps in this regard and i think the difference between corin being bad right because corin is the worst character apparently apparently that's what they're saying i remember when anton was considered the worst and billy was considered the worst now it's corin besides the fact that she's not the best dps I have fun with her. I think that Corrin is a fun character just because of the little chainsaw that she has for her weapon, right? So if you like fun gameplay, I think Corrin is fine. Like, most of the time you're just holding down one button, but the, like, animations of it is, like, really, really cool to me. Ooh, shiny looks great. That being said, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, <laughs> it's tough to say, man. It's tough to say it without, you know hating to say it because I do actually like Corrin's like fun factor she's not good right don't forget to hydrate y'all but yeah when it comes to Corrin it's gonna be a thumbs down pretty pretty bad selection of A rank characters right not exactly good now let's go ahead and get into lighter we had to go over to uh, mob what is it Mo mobilitics so we had to go to Mobilitics. By the way, shout out to uh, Pridewind GG and shout out to Mobilitics. Uh, I do use both sites. Well, mo mainly Pridewind, but not Mobilitics, right? So as we know, Lighter is going to be a stun fire unit from the Sons of Kaladin. We already kind of know this. Blah, 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 right? We're going to go over a slight overview of what his kit is, right? Core passive accelerate when Lighter is in the morale burst state. Hitting an enemy with the fifth hit of his basic attack will continuously consume morale and increase his impact. Morale will be automatically restored over time. Note that the basic attack five is a flurry of punches, not just one singular hit. Those attacks, when consuming morale, will also reduce enemy fire and ice resistance to make and makes them stun for longer. This is good because if you don't entirely understand how stun units work in ZZZ, Stun units are meant for you to be able to, like, get them into their stun state or daze state where you could activate chain attacks, right? And chain attacks are really needed because, one, again, you're stunning them so they're not moving. Two, the chain attacks are doing some very, very good damage, right? So being able to have a stunner on your team is kind of a necessity 
at times, right? And he's going to fit well with your Bernices. He's going to fit well with your Soldier 11s, uh, your Lucy's, your Pipe. Well, Piper's a physical unit. So, but your Lucy. Well, is Lucy? Hold on. Is Lucy a physical unit? I can't remember. Okay, no, she's fire. Okay. So your Lucy's, because I, for some reason, I freaked out for a second, right? Um, but yeah, so your Lucy's, your Bernices, and your, um, why am I, why am I, Soldier 11, right, that's what, that's who I was talking about, and with lighter, you get that fire and ice, uh, resistance, uh, reduce, so he also works in ice team, so that opens up so many options, you got Sokaku, you got Ellen Joe, you got Lycaon, there's like so many things that he's good with, now Lycaon's a stun unit, so you don't, I, I don't know, if you want to do double, you can do double, I don't, that's not the point, the point is, is that he helps out not only fire, but he helps out ice as well and makes them stun for longer. Now, the additional bit ability when paired with the attack agent or sons of Kaladin agent, he will buff his teammates' fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. So, I don't know if that's on top of what his core passive does, but if he does, holy crap, that's going to be so much more damage, which is insane. Um, but yeah, so ultimately, like, he's going to be really, really decent. I don't know, like... For stun units, right? I think he'll be in, at least in the 0.5 range, right? I don't think he's going to be lower than Lycaon, so he might... It's going to be either t, t, uh, tier 0 or tier 0.5. Um, but it's going to be tough, right? Wingy is going to be up here always, I feel, for the most part. Um... But I don't think he's going to be necessarily, like, bad. I think he's going to be a good sun unit. So if you have a Bernice or you have, you know, a Soldier 11 or even just a Lucy and you're trying to build a fire team, Lighter's kind of worth it. The only downside is your A ranks with Ben and Corrin are just not, are not up to snuff. But given that he could fit in not only your fire teams but your ice teams as well, it kind of feels like you have that stun unit that, like, if you don't have a Lycaon, you could use, you know, lighter instead. It, it, it just feels to me that he's going to be really, really good and really, really good for multiple teams. Instead, of, like, you could have a Knights of Caledon team. You could have a fire team. You could have an ice team. It's just, to me, there's just so many different things that you could uh, work with him. So, overall, I'm kind of in the middle right when it comes to lighter and, and maybe that's the most uh neutral you know shout out to mr pokey neutral stance right there right but i'm looking at it from the perspective of if you're going for as a banner as a whole this isn't a good banner because the two units that are your a ranks are just not good and lighter is good if you're going for just lighter if you want to know that li if lighter is a good character or not lighter is going to be top tier stunner bar none so if you want to summon for lighter, summon for lighter. And ultimately, I say this to everybody. I do these should you summons, right? And there's there's people who ask me constant questions like, oh, is it worth it? Is it worth this? Is it worth that? That's why I do the should you summons, right? At the end of the day, though, I want you all to have your own brain. And if you like a character, even if it's bad, right? If you like Corrin, summon for Corrin. If you like Ben, summon for Ben. If you're looking for meta... Lighter could be meta, but if you're looking for overall meta banner, this is not it because you're not, you only are going to be going for lighter and then corn and Ben are just going to be like, well, I kind of hate this. So, but yeah, that's my take. I don't know. I'm just kind of crazy, but thanks for sticking with me through this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.